Now I can hear myself. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. We're experiencing a few technical difficulties. You see this? A demonstration. Of what? My undying love oh, for- no, this is, this is no simple talk. This is life or death. This is a never subtle mix of terror and swagger that screams, just wait until I get to where I'm getting to. Getting to or getting from? <laughs> a run like this will save my life. A run like this? could save other people's lives. Arms slicing through the air. Mm, like a ninja's blade avenging a devastating injustice. <laughs> and knees lifting like the pistons of a finely tuned engine. Powering our feet into the ground for maximum propulsion. Oh, all as a demonstration oh, of... Okay, Ooh, stop already! already. Why weren't you running? Didn't feel the need to. It hardly seems fair. Thank you, one and all, for joining us. We live in a world of cynicism and skepticism. You're going full meta? Two minutes in. Watch me. <laughs> Surrounded by those who think that irony is still cool for some reason, paired with a post-pomo, metamodernist, apathetic outrage to everything and anything. Oh, shock and yawn. Why do all of our arguments have to lead to some kind of monologue? Well, technically, this is a theatrical device disagreement. <laughs> still, no one else is here yet. You are. They are. Someone is always listening. Watching. But I put a band-aid over the computer camera thingy. That's our defense. Band-aids. You interrupted me? Please, continue. You warm up your way and I'll warm up mine. Now where were we? In a world that has turned its back on the idea of the innocent, romantic gesture, the naive it dreams of a love affair a disconnected life. from the or shit the show of our daily life. existence. Yes. A dark, dark world where expectations and tire traditions have created a business model for growing up that is no longer viable and that no longer accepts and that no longer accepts. Parker! What? It's your line. A response, a reaction, some witty repartee. I'm still waiting for a point. <laughs> 
when was the last time we posted a picture of the two of us on Instagram? We... Never. You... I have no idea. Five months ago. <laughs> Stop that! Okay, I don't know what else to do. Make a story out of it. Such a thin interpretation of that word. Everyone has a story. Uh, yeah, but that doesn't mean that they all need to be encouraged and shared. Oh, and yours is? This? Okay, I'm just trying to feel something. Just once, I'd like somebody to chase me to the airport. Or be the chaser, either way, but that's romantic. Something airport related. For a specific reason, or is the chasing more symbolic? Who buys last minute plane tickets? That makes me anxious. The gesture would be practical on the surface, but it would be symbolic towards the relationship. You know, like, we, we would have had like a really big fight and horrible things would have been said, but then you would realize how wrong you were and you'd stop me from getting on the plane. Where are you going? Doesn't matter. No, specifics are important. Logistics as well. Yeah. I mean, if you were visiting family or going on vacation somewhere, you'd be coming back. Okay, it's for a new job on the other side of the country. A better job? Yeah, obviously, it's a dream job. Why haven't you talked about this with Parker before? Yeah. I, the timing is difficult to believe. You're being skeptical of a hypothetical situation. Listen, it's... It's... It's a serendipitous collision of impossibilities. That's what makes it romantic. Oh. I, I'm supposed to stop you from dream job career advancement? <laughs> you'd say no, and you'd get on the plane anyway. But the gesture would tighten your bond until... Until... Until what? Until one of you would begin to drift away from the other. Or towards. So Morgan gets their dream job, then realizes they're lonely, so they move back allowing a whisper of resentment to rage build into a death metal vocal. <laughs> like, sounds beautiful. Oh. <gasps> you could move with me. I like my job, my neighborhood, my friends. But what about love? There's no answer that's appropriate or satisfactory to that question. Sometimes, like is better than love. Wow. <clears throat> it minimizes the hurt. In time, I'd meet someone new. There's no one that could be like me. They'd be like them. This is all just a practical exercise, right? We'll still have the running. <sighs> Baby, I love you like Tom Cruise loves running. Oh, here we go again. Loves running from explosions, hair bouncing playfully in the wind created by said running. 
I professed this love, framed by the explosion that would surely kill a slower, less proficient runner. The powerful stride, one leg propelled forward, then the other, then repeat, and I'm not even wearing proper footwear for this level of running perfection. It's a social media love, all the highs and occasional mysterious lows without context. Like the way Tom Cruise loves smiling in pictures all the time, mostly because he got his weird front teeth straightened. I'm assuming by a Scientology approved dentist. And you know, that's the way that I smile in our pictures because I cannot leave any doubt for the amount of love that I have for you. Like, look, look this pic, it says I'm so fucking happy. And I would probably tag them with hashtag blessed or something else basic and insipid, but it would be a lot cooler coming from me and unexpected. Baby, baby, I love you. Like Tom Cruise loves filming in exotic locations. The people who live there aren't exotic, that's offensive, but places can be. Oh, and, and we would we would share pictures of us privileged smiling and being in love because without us it's just a stupid place with stupid people. <sighs> I want to be in one of those relationships where all my friends and family disappear, save one quirky friend, or maybe an overbearing phone call from my mother. <laughs> I had one of those once. No, you didn't. The truth. Never had any date conflicts. No friends needed me or were even like ran into in the neighborhood. It was just me and them. Like. My previous life was somehow completely replaceable with this new thing. Well, last year I made it a point to randomly sit alone on the floor eating ice cream out of the container and listening to the Smiths. Because of an unrelenting sadness? I mean, mostly for the appearance of sadness. Oh. I felt fine. Hey, uh, every picture consisted of the two of us, <laughs> smiling. Traveling, eating food, Ooh. it was great. Riding bikes. Ooh. Out of context landscapes. Ooh. Weekly tired pics of what you're watching on TV. <sighs> Something happening behind you while you make a judgy <gasps> face. Something deliberately sexy. <laughs> Trying really hard to pretend you're not being deliberately sexy. Yeah, no doubt. Each one staged to look spontaneous. What does that mean? You know, in the moment, happening now. I don't understand. Jesus, fuck. Stop it already. But it's a demonstration. I want a relationship. You know, we're at the start, I hate the person. But then they do something charming, and yeah, I get stupid and I fall for them. So stupid. One of those ones that you just don't see coming. Ah, but everyone else does. Uh -huh. Classic. Charlie. Yeah. Could I talk to you for a sec? Sure. Okay. How to say this right? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm interested in you. Like, <laughs> the way Tom Cruise is interested in hanging from mountains. Parker, wow. Um, you're catching me off guard here. I mean, I... I didn't see this coming. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sure all of our friends have. I mean, mine did anyway. What about Morgan? We tried, but it never really became something... Cinematic. Exactly. <laughs> you know, like, a moment where I could make that really big gesture in public or 
interrupting some important event. It never materialized. Oh, baby, that's terrible. Isn't it? Mm. But now, in front of them... Who? The audience. That isn't here? Huh? And they're in there. We could imagine. Before the pandemic, you, on stage, a big role you're really excited about. A funky black box theater and a very unrealistic representation of what independent theater looks like. You know, and, and I, stepping out from the audience to profess my love, like Tom Cruise, revealing how he foiled the villain's master plan. Oh, stop it, wait! How important is this play to Charlie? Could make their career. Mm, that's the best kind of imaginary play. And you would ruin that to make a gesture? It would be quite dramatic. Yeah. Are there other people in this production? Yes, but they would all understand. I'm not so sure. Could it happen after the play? <laughs> but then no one would be there to witness it. Well, is that super important? <laughs> like, I mean, as important as Tom Cruise loves to humble brag by putting shirts on, not taking them off. It's subtle but clever. Yeah, I see. <laughs> I think I'd be shocked at first, maybe somewhat flattered, but then... I think I'd resent it. But it's an expression of my love. <laughs> Exactly. Your love, not our love. Maybe in time I could love you like Tom Cruise loves running towards age-inappropriate female co-stars, wearing clothing not appropriate for running in. The way all said co-stars are magically never taller than him on screen, even though he's like five feet tall. Maybe in time, I could learn to love you like Tom Cruise tried to be a serious actor. And he almost got there with Eyes Wide Shut and Magnolia, but his overconfident grin never allowed him to escape how pretty he is. A romantic gesture that selfishly creates a pretty relationship. Surface pretty, because all gestures need another gesture, a bigger gesture, and where does it all fucking end? At some point, someone would come by and do something simple and thoughtful. And in that moment, for a brief second, I would forget about you and us. See? It would work for a while, but then the relationship would get to its vanilla sky and it would all fall apart and take everyone down with us. I thought collateral was one of his best. It's all underrated for sure. Yeah. This is my rock of ages. I want a relationship that defies what relationships are supposed to represent. I want a relationship where it's not a relationship in the way that society tried to make relationships out to be. That's why all of mine fail. Because you want what you can't have. I want, I get, and then the programming kicks in and I panic. I mean, you should be loved for who you are. Yeah, but who the fuck am I? <sighs> Kids. Security. Kids. Security. Make a home. Grow a garden, save for a vacation, take pictures to show how happy you are, sort of help the environment. Security, achieve more. New car, date night, adventures. Fuck, I hate that word. What word? Adventures. If you're in a relationship with someone who uses that word, they will never be satisfied with you. More, achieve, more, adult. 
adulting kids security more achieve more adulting kids security more achieve more adulting kids security I achieve I could hold you adulting kids security but the pandemic no I know achieve but, um, <clears throat> more I uh adulting kids I dream about touching security. you Would I need to reciprocate? More achieve more. Uh, that'd be nice. Kids, <laughs> security, more. Achieve more. Adulting kids, security, more. Achieve more. What if I don't? Adulting kids, security, more. I mean, like, more. Uh, maybe do it, but in you know, another way than you imagine more. reciprocation happening. comfortable with my own company. I'm comfortable with my own company. I'm comfortable with my own company. You don't get lonely? Two different things. You don't want to fall in love. I do. All the time. And then I get up. But relationships solve everything. There are only accepted goal. That's what every advertisement has ever told us from every era about ourselves. <laughs> that, and that women had impure thoughts about vacuum cleaners in the 50s. Every TV show, every movie, every fucking pop song. <sighs> I'm incapable of love. <sighs> How's that even possible? I'm dead inside. Uh, metaphorically, you mean. Like, I mean, are we all? Am I right? No, I think I mean literally. I... <laughs> like, kid, that's impossible. <laughs> You'd be literally dead. I'm emotionally dead? Well, that makes more sense. I mean, I understand the constructs of emotional connection. The various movements, hugs, hand gestures, kind words, random compliments, some form of empathy, but the deeper stuff is missing. Yeah, that's love. Gone. Replaced by words like appreciation, fondness, admiration. You have loved, haven't you? I think. Isn't this a demonstration? Of what? Something! It has to mean something! So this is all just a big lie. You're just a big lie. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe it's depression love. You know, like, it exists, but it hides under blankets. Is that a thing? No, that's not a thing. Why not? Because it either is or it isn't. It's all or nothing. Well, I can't love someone a little. I think so. I mean, I love a lot of people a little. What are we doing here? Looking for answers. There are no answers in this fucking hamster wheel. Only more wheel, one constant failure. 
life is failure. What are you doing? Nothing. You're running. No, I'm not. We can all see it. I love you the way that Tom Cruise loves doing his own stunts, which is irresponsible from a production standpoint because certainly the CGI or the stunt doubles would cost less than the added insurance, but that is how much I love you. I love you irresponsibly. Like Tom Cruise loves riding a motorcycle without a helmet, or like he loves jumping from airplanes. No doubt Tom Cruise would use the word adventure. <laughs> Tom Cruise risks his life because he's fundamentally unhappy with himself. Just like me. <laughs> We're a lot alike, really. Me and Tom, just two extremely depressed people self-medicating the pain away. Me with alcohol, ice cream, and quiet self-loathing, and Tom with the reckless desire to prove that he's not getting any older. I, I love you though. I love you the way that Tom Cruise hates people who insult Scientology, the way that he might chase after them probably beat them up, or at least shame them, shame them with his masculinity, his alien gifted masculinity. <laughs> Sometimes, when I'm near the bottom, I wanna be Tom Cruise. And I would run away from my life. <laughs> Out, about to explode at any moment. And the freight stitching of this imposter syndrome costume will begin to unravel as I run like Tom Cruise, revealing the lies underneath. The emptiness that I live with daily. <laughs> and the futility of every single one of my dreams. Really love me like that? Just like Tom Cruise. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> no one can love another person like Tom Cruise. Maybe if it was true, I could feel something. It is true. I said it while running. I thought you were dead inside. A love like that. It could work miracles. It's true. It's true. Kids! Security, kids! Security, make a home, grow a garden, save for a vacation, take pictures to show how happy you are, sort of help the environment, security, get a promotion, achieve more, new car, date night, adventures. Stop saying adventures. Ignore them. 
I can't. Let it go. Security, get a promotion, achieve new car, date night, adventures. Stop it. It's such a stupid Look at me. word. What? 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 Do you hate that word more than you love me? No. No, 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 no. No. You had me at security. Do you mean it? I didn't like you before, but then... <laughs> I did something charming. No, 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 but we, we, we... You couldn't ignore them. I love you. I love you. I love you like I love you like Tom Cruise loves running, uh, like he loves smiling and and hanging from mountains, like he loves marrying tall women, but only for a little while. I love you like I I love you like, like, like. What? I love you like. I love you. And which way is that? I don't know. I mean, I've never loved you before. <laughs> I love you like, like, I want to find out how. No, 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 wait, well, you're not even, you're not even wearing masks, what? I'll chase you, I'll chase you to the airport. I know it's a little stalkerish, but it demonstrates something. I love you like, I, I love you like, like, <laughs> How do you love? <laughs>